Hey, welcome back to another QMark video. So in this video, we're gonna be playing a CTF game called Pickle Rick from this website called TryHack. See, this Pickle Rick is an absolutely interesting show. Even I love to watch it. Even I know most of the people do. So even this CTF is based on the same cartoon character Rick and Morty. So without getting any further delay, let's get into the video and see. So I'm gonna solve this CTF using simple hacking technique. Okay, the first step is to go to all rooms inside the try hack me website and just search for pickle rig and uh, this is the room what we are looking at so just click on join the room so this is the city of what we're going to play in this video so and i'm using my kali linux operating system and just click on uh, start the machine it will take like a minute to start the machine just go up and click on access machine and then open vpn and just download this open vpn file then you can follow the steps in the right side to uh, install the open vpn if you don't have so once you download the file just open the file inside the terminal and type sudo open vpn space the file name and press enter so now we are connected inside the network now let's uh, do the nmap scan on this ip address sudo nmap tag sp tag a is for aggressive mode and just copy paste the ip address and press enter Let's see if the nmap got the result. Okay, so there is no result. Let me open in a new tab. Uh, okay, I think we can see here port 80 and port 22 is open. So port 80 is nothing but a website. Okay, let me open the burp suit. So basically burp suit is another tool which acts as a proxy. You can customize and send requests to the website. So just copy the IP address and uh, inside the burp suit chromium just just copy paste the IP address inside the box. So turn off the intercept to load the website. Now here let's go and check on the target and uh, let's see on the index page whether do we have any file that is interesting. Yeah, we can see we have some kind of a username. Okay, just press Ctrl U to check the source code. Now here you have an username again. So now this is another hint what we got from this uh, website. Okay, now since we know this as a website, now type sudo dubbuster and uh, for this video I'm using this and if you want you can use the go buster also. So just the same procedure start and just load the word list. So here you can see the word list of what we have. So login.php is there and we got some uh, good stuff. So let's just open the URL using login.php. So this is, let's see if some other hidden file is available. We can see a robot.txt file. Let's type robot.txt. Now I think that is the password. Let's give a try using that password what we just got from it. So I think we have logged inside the command panel. Let's try ls. Okay, so this execute the command. Let's try who am I? Okay, right now we are www.data. Cat the third ingredient. Okay, third ingredient is not opening. So the cat command may be blocked. Okay, let's use the less command and paste the file. Now we got the ingredient number one. Just paste the ingredient number one. Now now here let's okay now let's check out the other files okay now let's see the portal.php yeah inside the portal.php you can see a line let's use the decoder inside the book suit itself just decode as plain text okay i think we need to decode again 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 and again come on one more time okay i still want to decode it okay now i got something as rabbit hole Okay, now I think this rabbit hole is another hint or another password that we can use to access the system. Now, let's open GitHub QMark online. Now, open the first link. Now, here I have few files. Okay, just open the repositories or uh, just click on this PickleRick repository. Now, open PickleRick repository. Here you have all the uh, thing what you needed. So, this is a reverse shell what I use commonly to do attacks. So, now just copy the reverse shell command over there and just copy paste that command in a notepad. Now what you have to do, you have to change your IP address to your local IP address. So since we are using the open VPN network, so the local IP address is 10.9.13. And then uh, choose support. So here it is 1234. Just change it to triple uh, four or whatever the open port you have. And let's type sudo netcat and uh, so lb np and then uh, just type the listening port. So now the netcat is listening on the triple four port. Now just copy this and then go to the command panel and just paste it and execute it. 
so now i'm inside the shell let's type who am i so now i'm data now i'm www tag data and uh, now let me cd to the home folder and let's type ls on here rick let me go to the rick folder now here ls now you can see the second ingredient <coughs> okay let's try to catch the second ingredient so i think the file name is not proper okay so let's try this simple trick sudo tag i so whether we can see whether we are able to shift to the root so now i think we are root okay let me check anyways who am i so now here we can see now i am root so let's type ls now so i think we got the third text now before go opening that let me open to the cd home and first open the second ingredient uh, so let's go back to the second ingredient and cat second ingredient i think still i'm facing some kind of an error i think the spelling mistake is there now let me copy that and uh, paste it here okay now it is not working let's go back to the cd tag root now let's cat the third text let's see whether the third text is happening yeah i can see the third text is flip juice let me copy and paste that in the try hack me website as a third one so the third ingredient is flip juice is it right yeah it is right so i think why am i able to not open the second ingredient we got the file and still we are root i think i'm making some kind of a mistake okay let me go back to the home and go back to the rig folder and uh, let me try another trick using inside the double quotes cat double quotes second ingredients and press enter now here we got the second ingredients jerry tier so one jerry tier and we are done with the c tier so we got the all three ingredients so we got all the three ingredients so now we have completed the c tier now so and here in the github i got all the reverse shell command for different kind of programming language like python perl php so all these are like a one line command so this will be very useful in your future CTO for in bug bounty stuff so i do recommend you guys to practice this ctf game and uh, you have more ctf game in try hack me do practice and if you like to watch me playing more ctf do let me know in the comment section have fun and happy hacking bye bye hey hope you like this video if you do so subscribe to my channel like this video share this with your friends if you want me to work on any future content do leave your ideas in the comment section if you want to chat with me personally yeah i am available in instagram dm at qmark online and i'll see you in the next video have fun happy hacking